The Little Tree and the Old Tree and the Four Seasons Chapter 1 Once upon a time, there was an old tree lived on a hill. As seasons and years went by, as decades and centuries went by, the old tree grew even older. The breeze in the spring caressed his treetop. The sunshine in the summer warmed the leaves. The rain in the autumn moisturized the root, and the snow in the winter put into deep sleep. Days and nights went by. One day, the old tree waked up by the sound of a voice. A young voice with a lisp tone speaks to him. Good morning, sir, said the voice. The old tree took a peek to where the voice came from. A little tree was looking at him with a pair of eyes full of curiosity. The little tree. Spring has come to the field. The little tree and the old tree are on the field. Why does peach bloom in the spring? Why does the peach tree blossom in the spring? The little tree asked. The old tree smiled at him with a warm curve on his face, but he answered nothing. Some day came the summer. The sun was harping up in the sky longer than ever before. The day was getting longer, and the sunlight was scorching hot. The old tree's leaves were fully grown now, and the little one also had two clusters of leaves on its branches. Since the sun is getting unbearably hot, the little hided itself under the old tree's shade. In a distant, a bunch of sunflowers were brightly blossomed on the field. Why do sunflowers bloom in hot weather like this? asked the little tree. Don't they feel summer stroke under the sunshine so hot? The old tree was still gazed to somewhere far away, as if he was waiting for something to come. Sunflower blooms in the summer. When will I bloom? asks the little tree. Autumn then come to the field. The leaves all turned yellow or orange, or mostly flaming red. As the wind blows, flaming red leaves were dancing to the pace of the wind. At first, the little one was amazed by the phenomenal scene of the autumn hair. But soon enough, when it realized the leaves of its own were decreasing to a little few, it started to worry. Regretting to the last red leaf on its tip, the little one couldn't help but wonder why this is happening. Nevertheless, it was still amazed by the autumn scene surrounded. Why do maple leaves turn flaming red in the autumn? As always, the old tree only smiled and said nothing. Why does maple leaves flaming red in fall? The days got shorter as the season went by. As the last leaf falls down to the ground, the first snow falls down from the sky. The snow continued for a week. After the week, the little tree opened its eyes to see a pure white world with absolute silence. The weather gets freezing cold. It looked aside to the old tree. The old tree had already fallen asleep. It was so quiet that for a moment the little one thought they were in heaven or somewhere between the next life. Little tree looked around. Out of the blue, it saw something pink in a distance. It squeezed its eye to see clearer. Is that plum flower? The little tree asked itself. Why do plums still blooming in frozen winter? The little one whispered to itself. Well, an old voice from the old tree's direction. The old tree was awakened. Plum thrives in the snowy winter. My innocent kid, said the old tree. The little one was surprised. It thought the old tree was either deaf or dumb. Winter is free and cold indeed, but it is a key for us to bloom beautiful cherry flowers. The little was excited. It had seen the pretty peach flowers in the spring. It had seen the brilliant sunflower in the summer. The red flame of maple leaves are one of its favorite. Yet the plum blossoms are also artistic. And during the cold winter, as the old tree talks, a petal falls down to the little tree's nose. It's how we blossom in the flourishing spring, the little tree and the old tree. Shower in cherry blossom rain. The End